NASA shock. It's a terrifying NASA video and it shows the plasma tornado ripping its way across the surface of our sun for 40 hours. This is by Katie Weston, Express UK. This is the NASA video showing this footage capturing the plasma tornado erupting from the surface of the sun and it was raging for 40 hours while stretched and pulled back by strong magnetic forces. Incredible time-lapse video released by NASA, Solar Dynamic Observatory, SDO. We see the plume churning above the sun for 40 hours. The footage taken from September 1st to September 3rd of 2015. It shows a huge plume of plasma ranging, raging on the sun's surface. In the description of the video, NASA STO explains a small but complex mass of plasma gyrated and spun about over the course of 40 hours above the surface of the sun, September 1st to 3rd, 2015. It was stretched and pulled back and forth by powerful magnetic forces, but not ripped apart in this sequence. The temperature of the ionized iron particles iron particles, ionized iron particles observed in this extreme ultraviolet wavelength of light was about 2.8 million degrees centigrade or 5 million degrees Fahrenheit. Space tornadoes are formed by plasma interacting with magnetic fields and they're more powerful than tornadoes on Earth, of course, which are formed in the atmosphere by thunderstorms. In another explanation, of plasma space tornadoes, NASA states on its website, interplanetary space is hardly tranquil. High energy charged particles from the sun, as well as from beyond our solar system, constantly whiz by. These can damage satellites and endanger astronaut health, though luckily for life on Earth, the planet is blanketed by protective magnetic bubble created by its magnetic field. This bubble, called the magnetosphere, deflects most of the harmful high-energy particles. Nevertheless, some sneak through, and at the forefront of figuring out just how this happens is NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, or MMS for short. New results show that tornado-like swirls of space plasma create a boundary tumultuous enough to let particles slip into Earth near space. And according to NASA, the sun's expansion is caused by the rapid burning of helium at the core, which causes surface layers of the star to expand. As the star expands, the habitability zone around stars shrinks, making it harder for life to exist. This process of expansion has been going on since the Sun formed four and a half billion years ago. Thankfully, in the last four billion years, the Sun has barely grown by 20% at the most. Now, NASA said it will not grow by much more than another factor of a few for the next six billion years, but at this distant time, it will make a rapid transition to a red giant phase and its outer surface will expand by several hundred times to perhaps the orbit of Venus. Astronomers have searched for short-term changes in the radius of the Sun, but have not been able to find much reliable evidence that the Sun's diameter is changing, at least over times as short as the solar cycle. Just like every other star in the universe, though, the Sun will eventually run out of fuel and burn to die. As the star approaches its final days, it will start to swell into a red giant and consume Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. After that, the Sun will shrink down into an incredibly hot and dense core known as a white dwarf, but NASA does not expect this to happen for another six to six and a half billion years.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.